Good morning from WWDC. So hyped. Just picked up the badge. Today is just going to be a day in life at the event. We're expecting some pretty big hardware news from Apple, so we'll be testing that out. Also, I asked you guys what are the coolest spots to see on Apple's campus. This is my first time ever here. So we're also going to be exploring that throughout the day. And I'm going to shoot a lot of it on the iPhone so we can see the video quality of smartphones. I know a lot of people have liked when I've done that in the past. Well, it is just so loud. It's so sweet. Such a nice day out, oh my gosh. Waiting online to get checked. All the security guards keep saying stuff like, we can't tell you, but everything you see online is true. And it's gonna be an exciting event. So I feel like they're hinting at VR and all of the rumors, which means that this is going to be one of the biggest WWDCs that we've seen in actual years. So it is 9.25 a.m. The event starts at 10. I feel like these videos are fun because they let me bring you guys along on like the journey of like, yeah, you could watch the live stream online, but this is like the behind the scenes content. I used to watch these events as a kid, like when I was eight years old. I used to get up really early so I could watch them before school. Sometimes I would skip school for them. And it's just absolutely surreal that I'm here right now, genuinely just because of you. Like if you didn't watch the videos and be part of this community, none of this happens. And there's not a moment where I don't think about that. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we have like a special media breakfast. Oh, right no way. Oh my God, amazing. Thank you so much. So I'm in this building, literally no one has followed me. So I'm a little perplexed, but I'm gonna crush these three flights of stairs. And then the event is gonna begin. This view is unreal, so this is where the event is gonna be. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Welcome to what's going to be the best WWDC ever. Woo! Producing some exciting new products. even more productive. I think one of the things I really appreciate is with the iris detection. First of all, high level, it looks like Ready Player One to me. Also, second high level, it's so expensive that it's going to be kind of like limited on the main people that can buy it. But I think when you think about tech, if you expand it like 10 years, right? Like that's the adoption rate of a lot of things. Like you get the early adopters like you and me, and then you get people that are just curious in it that actually buy it later on. But high level, let's assume that the price comes down and the battery life lasts longer, etc. cetera. Hey. <laughs> How are you? What happens next, I think is the question. One of the things that I appreciated when they were doing the briefing is talking about the privacy implications. Like for example, not sharing with companies where you're looking because like advertisers could then use that to optimize ads. My question points are A, is this actually a good thing for society? And B, what is the health risk of having a screen so bright and so close to your eye? I want to find that out. So we'll keep you posted if I do. Lunch acquired. <laughs> I think a lot of times people do not send the cold email or even ask because they don't think it's possible. The entire reason I'm here outside of you guys is because I asked um, and Apple's amazing for having me out and including me. Um, and same thing with this headset. I really want to get a hands on with the headset. I think it'd be really cool. I want to see it in person. Otherwise, we're not going to see it until next year. So I just shot an email and we'll see. Um, I'm going to try to go find the room where it is. So that is the event for now. And I have literally zero sense of direction. So it's going to be fatal or amazing. We'll see. Hey. Okay, so this is the Steve Jobs Theater, which is amazing. And I heard that downstairs they have the headsets.
the event was cool. I like the pace. I like the fact that you just, you just throw out all the max stuff early. Like, ah, here you go. Yeah, just take a immediate. Break. Yeah. They give you like the dopamine hit of knowing about a new product. Exactly. I understand why it's expensive. Totally, me too. Because there's a lot of stuff in there. And I think they're trying to limit it to only early adopters buy it. So there's like less criticism and then it will... But also, yeah. but I also think it's just, it's their first entry and Apple, yeah. Apple usually is like, all right, we're going to put the kitchen sink and we're going to show you how it's done. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then maybe we get like a non-pro version. Agreed. That's not, not as expensive. My main concern is those gesture controls. Yes. It looked cool in video, yeah, but really. how yeah. practical would it be, you know, to kind of like do that on a daily basis? Agreed. I think that this is the Apple Visitor Center, if I'm not mistaken, and I didn't get super lost trying to find it. So that's an improvement. Thank you. All right. Coffee and acquired, Apple coffee review. Actually really good. That's WWDC though. That's this video. If you want to see what the Google I.O. event is like, you can check out this video right here and I will catch you next week with another tech video. Hanging out with you, talking tech. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. So thank you for being here. I appreciate, I adore you. And I will see you next week.